My name is Cynthia Neal, and I made my first perfect pie crust at age 10. I also started writing stories at age 10, but I doubt they were as perfect as my pie crust. For years, I baked my way through rejection letters. Today, I'm a published author of historical fiction, and baking has sustained and nurtured me on this journey. One of my favorite writing rooms is my kitchen, when my hands are stirring, kneading, and molding. Being in the kitchen creates a prelude to a story, acted out in measuring cups and spoons. The act of baking is often full of simple ingredients with the potential for something delectable to be shared with others. Likewise, fiction writing is full of characters coming together in plot and suspense, culminating into a story that satisfies the hunger of readers. Story ideas, chapter scenes, plots, and endings often form in my head while I mix, shape, and bake scones, breads, cakes, and pies. My passion for baking and for writing began in 1968, the year when Martin Luther King was assassinated, Robert Kennedy was mortally wounded, the peace movement was in its heyday, many and maxi skirts were both popular, and I was on the cusp of young womanhood. My five brothers and I lived in an idyllic village in upstate New York with our single mother who sang the blues and baked her way into our hearts. It was in the kitchen where my mother experienced liberation. It was in the kitchen where she prepared for the future through nourishing her children so they could flourish and live well beyond her own limitations. It was also a therapy room full of conversation scented with cinnamon, chocolate, and perfumes of her women friends. And so from my mother, I've also learned liberation in the kitchen. I've taken her recipes and made them my own. I've taken her life lessons and made them my own. My book, Pavlova in a Hat Box, is brimming with dessert recipes, stories, and art. These recipes are old-fashioned ones. Recipes I've embellished from cookbooks, from my mother's recipes, and recipes such as scones and tarts I created from imagination when I owned a Victorian tea catering business. And there are many cake recipes I've created to serve at Irish dances we've held in our home for years. Cakes I've decorated with ribbons, flowers, and whimsy. And with all of these recipes in this cookbook, I use fresh, local, and mostly organic ingredients. The essays in Pavlov in a Hat Box will encourage you to dream, to hope, and persevere while you bake and turn ordinary days into grand celebrations. The art in Pavlov in a Hat Box is cheerful and lovely and has been created by my friend Maggie Martin, who is a painter, designer, and illustrator. My title dessert, Pavlova, is made with meringues, whipped cream, lemon curd, and fresh berries. Why would anyone put a pavlova in a hat box? It all came about when a friend asked me to make her favorite dessert, pavlova, and bring it on a sailing trip. I quickly said yes without thinking. Later I wondered how fragile meringues made out of egg whites could travel on a dinghy and then a sailboat and still be served beautifully. And that is when I looked around my home and I found the perfect pavlova carrier, one of my hat boxes. It worked. Hence the title of this cookbook, Pavlova in a Hat Box, because it signifies the importance of making these recipes your own by innovation and from beautiful things in your home. I can close my eyes and think of my mother, recall being on her lap, feeling her heartbeat of consistent love for me, reminding me to acquire my own rhythm and dance of life for the years ahead. Many of her recipes cushion and soften the lining of the shell of my childhood that slowly cracked open as I emerged into an adult. Today, my mother is 86 years old, and Pavlova in a hat box is a special tribute to her. I hope you'll come along with me on this journey and help Pavlova in a hat box become a reality. There are a number of backer rewards, such as a copy of this book, your name and an appropriate quote printed in the book, and copies of my published historical fiction novels. The Irish Dresser. Hope.
in New York City, and my adult historical fiction novel, Nora, the Making of an Irish American Woman in 19th Century New York. Remember what Harriet Van Horn said, cooking is like love. It should be entered into with abandon or not at all. Thank you.